hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing Milly Rose's um, Spooktober journal tag it's brand new you have to check it out <laughs> and join and do it um, I thought it's a really nice thing to do right now at this moment in time so let's start um, I have uh, put so all these supplies on here right so the first um question of this uh tag is <clears throat> sorry i'm having a cold show your spell book or your current journal yeah um i actually have a spell book this is my book of shadows um because i used to be a witch i think most of you knew this uh, but a book of shadows can be very personal, so I'm not opening this. Okay, it's it's a ring binder. It's not like one of those old bound grimoires, you know. Because I tried to fill those before, but I didn't have patience, and then everything got, um, you know, mixed up and confusing, and I couldn't switch pages, and so I decided to just go with a ring binder. I'm not using it anymore that much, but. Um, yeah it's very important to me so i'm showing you my journal which is um <laughs> funny enough it says magic spells here so i guess this is my magic book now um my current journal has become very fat you have seen it in the previous flip through um when we reach this little thing here this bookmark then the next flip through will come right uh, it's not, it's just, I don't know, 20 pages, if even. So it has become very, very full. I don't want to show too much, of course, because, you know, you will see it in a flip. But um, I love this book. I love the corners, like the, um, you know, what's, how do you say that? The borders that are surrounding every page. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have loved this. It is from wish.com and it was 12 bucks or so. I don't know. Uh, my stepfather bought this for me and it comes in a random color. So like this very much. And I hope I can finish it without it falling apart because it, it becomes so bulky, extremely bulky. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Uh, the second um, question of this tag is potions so i can actually show you a real potion that i made oh it's not really a potion though it's a spell it's a spell in a bottle you know it's a bottle spell so <laughs> i considered this a potion okay so this was made for money att uh, attracting money this is why the bottle is green and there are some uh, runes inside and herbs and crystals every and money everything that is supposed to attract money went into here and i sealed it off with wax and i also put um a certain gemstone on top i think it's citrine what i don't know if that's the right uh, name in your language and i place it right next to this bottle which is a bottle of real gold flakes and this bottle is supposed to also attract wealth which it does kind of work but it doesn't attract like lottery winnings or anything yeah it's small things <laughs> that it's attracting but nonetheless little is better than nothing right <clears throat> this candle is amazing okay maybe i can yeah <laughs> it smells like um you know when you watch like old sherlock holmes movies i think th the smell that this candle makes uh, smells like how Sherlock Holmes office would have smelled you know like <laughs> it's really cool okay um so yeah we have to come to the second part of this the real uh, supplies that I will be using during October um of course first off washi tapes yeah those are samples that I got uh from other journal people in our community cannot remember from who I got this from but let me tell you I value each and everyone's uh, things that you sent me 
where, where is this little, even, even this little thing. <laughs> so those are the washes I'm going to use. I think most of them you know already because I, oh, I use them basically always. Generic dots and stripes. Silver uh, cobwebs, I think, or spider webs. This is actually, I think, the only real um, journaling, uh, Halloween related uh, tape. Um, also, spider webs. Sorry, my camera isn't focusing. <laughs> some random blah. S some thingies, bones. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a big headache and I didn't eat yet and I'm awake for many, many hours already, so I'm a little bit confused and I'm going to use those too. I like, I like this one because uh, it has words on it that say, for example, magic and stuff, so it's really nice. So, of course, washi tapes will be used. Uh, the next thing I'm going to use is, let me grab. So I think many of you know that I'm doing this to save money, but it actually became uh, more like, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> so those are paper streamers. Yeah, you know them from parties. And at Halloween time, I'm always buying uh, some of those. Uh, Halloween related ones those are very old I have them since I was 13 or so and what I'm also buying is confetti yeah I those are sp spiders you know I have a bunch of confetti here and I am gonna use them uh, instead of stickers and washes yeah I just stick them on with um, tape or glue stick and it makes for a great decoration really cheap oh there's a little spider we're gonna leave it here <clears throat> and of course the the third thing i'm gonna use are stickers so some of those i have gotten in the mail recently i think you saw it on my instagram uh, megan and erica yeah <laughs> i um Yeah, I'm going to use those. <laughs> Thanks very much for sending those to me. Uh, I have some stickers from last year. For example, I think those came from Melly Rose. Mel Melly? I don't know. I cannot remember. But i still going to use all of those. I found those pop-up stickers, which are not really good for inside of the journal, but they would fit good on the top cover. Same for those puffy stickers. Not a big fan of puffies, but they were inside of some packs. They were like, um, I also got them from someone in the journal community. I wonder who it was. Someone that sent me one or two years ago a package full of, um, you know, those uh, sticker books and stuff. Maybe it was also for Melly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry if I cannot remember. But let me tell you, whoever sent me, uh, those things to me, I am valuing and cherishing all of those, okay? Like, I use them very, very rarely because I want to save them up for as long as possible. Like, I, I still want to use them in a few years, you know? So I'm only using like two or three per year of every pack. Because, yeah, we cannot really find anything like Halloween related in G Germany. We find a few stickers, but most of them are also like uh, puffies and pop-ups like those, you know. And I cannot really use them much for journaling. So, and I also always use this sticker book. I th you have seen this before. I just finished one and now I bought a new one. It's uh, the I Like sticker book. And it comes with like, um, you know, Halloween and fall season related stickers. So you can use them in September, but also in October. So <laughs> I think um, this is what, what I'm going to use. The third part is skeletons, which means journals that have died and fall apart. And they are basically 
corpses, but unfortunately, I don't own any that fell apart before. So what to do for this point? I was thinking about doing something else then. Um, I'm giving you a little prompt. And you are like, what, Danny? We are already doing your Halloween journal challenge, so we have enough to do. Yeah, stop whining, okay? I don't care. So here, I give you a prompt. Every year, <laughs> every year, I am crafting a pumpkin with a witch hat out of cardboard and place it in my journals. And I have noticed that in the past years, some of my fellow journal people, pe people, <laughs> people that start this tradition too. It is a, a tradition that I'm doing since I was 14 or 15. So it has been already 17 years or 18, you know, and I do this every year. Um, it does not need to be limited to one. You can craft, of course, as many as you want, but at least one. So I'm going to give you this prompt or this, this, it's, it's not a challenge part because that's not part of the challenge. But I wanted to actually put this into the challenge, but I didn't have space anymore and I forgot. So yeah, <laughs> do this. Okay. And this is, by the way, uh, the journal from last year's um, Halloween challenge. Remember, remember. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Snow, Snow White. Yeah. It was fun. Um, let's go to the next thing. The cauldron. Okay, I don't have a physical cauldron anymore, but um, the the question is name three to five ingredients for a perfect journaling experience yeah so things you are mixing up in your imaginary pot to you know make the perfect journaling session um i gonna choose my date stamp because you know i gone i use this every day since i bought it <laughs> i don't know how long it has been maybe a year i love this thing it has become not really like my trademark but you know what i mean like i do this always second thing which makes everything perfect is definitely printouts i don't have really cutouts because i'm not buying any magazines because they cost money and uh, pff, you know i rather Instead of using the money on magazines that where I cut out three pieces and throw the rest away, I am spending the money on ink cartridges for my printer and print out whatever I want. This is cheaper for me. If I lived in a household where people had uh, magazines all the time, then I wouldn't care, but I don't. So printouts, very, very important. Look at those flower pots. They're creepy, right? Okay. So this is what I'm using every day. I, you know that. That's, that's part of my journaling style. And I also choose watercolors. Because watercolors can make such a nice difference. Especially put in the background of certain pages. Good. The last... A question of this deck is uh, Hocus Pocus. And the game that Meli chose is Two Truth, One Lie. So I'm going to tell you three facts about me. Two are truth and one is a lie. And um, I don't know if you want to comment down below which you think is false. I, I don't... I mean, there could all be true <laughs> and it would not really surprise anyone but uh yeah one is a lie so <clears throat> number one i lived in a haunted house number two i was abducted by aliens number three i put a love spell on someone before and it failed and this person started to hate me <laughs> so I think that was it 
I gonna end this video now because, um, well, it's already 15 minutes long. Oh my God, I need to stop. Okay. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing this, my friends, and I hope you will all join and also do this tag. I want to see all your stuff, right? Okay. Bye, 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 bye. And stay spooky.